everyone, it's me Rhonda, also known as the sparkly one. Today I am going to be showing you how I touch up my roots. So see what I'm wearing? I got pink gloves, I got my cape, I'm all ready to go. I have my tint bow, I have my hair dye, and I have my high lifting peroxide. So stay tuned, I'm going to show you how I do this. Hopefully if you've been having that fear of doing your own hair at home, I can take a little bit of that fear away. The hardest part about doing your hair at home is picking a good color. I finally found the color that I like and that color for me is made by Da Vinci. Now this is sold at my local beauty supply. The color that I get is clear. So it's a clear lightener and it doesn't deposit any color in my hair. It just helps to lift my hair to a lighter color. The volume of peroxide is usually written on the box inside with the directions. So just follow your directions the best you can. I veer a little bit from mine and I use a higher lifting peroxide. This is a 50 volume peroxide and a lot of people are afraid to use it because they think it'll damage their hair but if you have pretty strong hair anyway, maybe a lot of red in it, um, just thick and you you know, uh, heavy hair, coarse hair. I think this should be fine. That's how my hair is, that's what I use, but you have to check with your hairdresser first if that's who you go to. I know she probably won't like you doing your own hair, but you know, to save a ton of money, oh my gosh, you know, it's great. So this color here is $10, and this bottle of uh, peroxide is $4.99. So for $15, you get these two products, I, this gives me two applications, so this will last me eight weeks, ten weeks, something like that. Um, this will last, I don't know, even longer. So it's really cost effective. It will save you a ton of money in the long run. So if you um, are someone who wants to save some money and you want to do your hair yourself, maybe this will encourage you. Sometimes you have to experiment with the colors that you like, but um, eventually you'll get there, you'll find it, and you'll be happy that you did. My hair is maybe like a dark blonde or maybe a medium blonde in my natural color. Although I do have a few grays popping through, so maybe someday I won't even need to lighten my hair. Hopefully it'll be a nice gray and I can just leave it um, that color, but I tend to doubt it. I probably will never do that, so I'll probably always be using this color. My growth is probably about three quarters of an inch, I would say, something like that. Um, I do my hair about every four to six weeks, depending on how long I can stand it. Uh, it doesn't take me that long. It'll take me about 15 minutes to put it on and then I'm done for five or six weeks or a month. I'm just so excited. It's just so easy to do. Now, I've been doing my hair my whole life, so other than having my mom do it. So she was really great. She taught me how to do it. She actually was a cosmetologist and she knew all the proper techniques and everything like that, so I acquired that from her. When I'm dyeing my hair every month, I have a lot of hair. So I will need this whole tube to do my whole entire head as far as the roots are concerned. Now the half tube will get me most of the front and some of the back. So nobody can ever see my roots on the inside. Now, if you want to look, I'll show you. So there's my roots and sometimes, you know, I don't do the back, like in here, like all this down here. Now I don't know what you see because I never look here, but it might be thicker back here. My roots might be, you know, my roots might be longer back there because I really don't touch up that area of my hair since you're never going to see it. So really I'm just doing my crown area and the sides and I'll do underneath here. So go ahead and take the lid off of your bottle, open up your hair product, and don't forget to read your directions, follow those directions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and it does have a little pointy thing here that you can just open up and break the seal. Uh, squeeze in a half of the tube. This says that you'll need one part hair color to one and a half parts 
peroxide. But I just, for me, I use two parts peroxide. This is basically one ounce. I'm gonna pour in up to the three ounce level. That's how I do it. You know, each person's gonna be different. Just follow the directions on your box until you can figure out what works best for you. I'm gonna go ahead and you're gonna shake it up. Shake it till it's really well mixed. I know a lot of women do this themselves at home, otherwise there wouldn't be all those box kits in every store that you go into, all your discount stores like Walmart, Target, Kmart, you know, all those. But I do get this at a beauty supply, and the girls behind the counter are great. They'll always be so, you know, happy to help you figure out what is going to be looking good on your hair. You kind of give them a little history of what your hair looks like, your natural color and all that, and they'd be happy to help you. Don't be afraid to try this. As long as you know a similar color that your hair is, it's pretty simple. As long as you talk to the girls at behind the counter, they'd be happy to help you. So as I'm shaking this up, it's starting to ooze out a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on my, my part. Here we go. Okay, you're ready? So... For me, what I do is I go ahead and I just start on my center part. And I just put it on there and I just blend it in with my fingers. And I'll do each side and just push it in there and smear it around and cover your roots. And just squeeze and put it on there. And then I go ahead and I take the bottle itself and I use it to part my hair. Just be careful not to get it in your eyes. That would not be good. And if you do, just immediately rinse them out with water. But, you know, this stuff is pretty thick and it stays put pretty well. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, put it along my hairline. I know, like, if a hairdresser is watching this, she's thinking, oh my gosh, what are you doing? You know, because people, um, you know, can be pretty careless when they're doing this, you know. And even putting it on in certain areas, it will lighten quicker. Uh, usually, I think that you put it on your the front like this it will lighten faster but I just go ahead and put it wherever this is just what works for me but you know you could do research you can watch other YouTube videos and see what people are suggesting but I'm just showing you what works for me so just make sure that you use common sense that you um, you know you, that you're not going to be bleaching your black hair and trying to get a light color like I have because that's not going to work. You know, you really do need a professional for that because they know what they're doing and you will break off your hair. So, but you will never get dark hair to light hair with the product that I'm using today. So, you have to have somewhat of a light color in the first place. So I'm just going ahead and you see I just keep parting my hair and then I just keep placing it in the part over like that and just smearing it in. And I'm just going to work down this side and then I'll start on the other side. See I just smush it in there, just cover those roots and just keep following your hairline. Don't get it all over your face. And this side will be hard for you to see. But then when I get to the other side, you'll be able to see it more. So I just keep going down, parting it. Do you see that? I'm putting it there. I guess I could have turned the mirror in the other direction. And then I go around the side of my face and I'm just going to smear that in there. I'm going to go around my ears. 
Try not to get it in your ear. And then I'm gonna go down the side of my head like that. And I'm just gonna bring it and pull it in and just smear it around. So there you go, see? So I did this half of my head. Now I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna do the other side. And this makes your hair feel super thick, <laughs> just like glue. Get it out of your eyes. And as you can see, I'm not, you know, tying off my hair. I'm not parting it, you know, with a comb and I'm not sectioning it off. I mean, this is just what works best for me. You can totally do that, but I don't know. It's too much hassle. I just don't want to deal with it. So you're just going to keep parting your hair and you got to shake this down and make sure that, you know, it's shaking. Let's see. Shake it down. Cover it up. You don't want it spitting stuff all over your room. Okay, so do you see I'm just going there and I'm just smearing it into my roots. And there's probably still about half of, you know, half of this product left in this bottle. And it, it goes a long way. It's just super thick, hard to get out. Of course, when you're doing it on camera, it doesn't want to come out. It's so thick. Okay, there we go. And just smear it in there. Now, I don't have the best technique in the world, but it works for me. Just keep parting it. And you know, for me, as long as I get the top done, that's all I really care about anyway, or my roots on the top of my head, and the sides of my face. So just, you know, keep doing it, smear it in, make sure you don't get it in your eyes. See? And it's so easy. I mean, really, it's not that hard to do. And just go ahead and get around your ear. And as you can see, it's already lightening. Don't I look lovely? So make sure it covers all of the sides of your face. You don't want to be missing a spot and then have a dark spot. So just make sure it's, that it's smeared in there really good. There we go. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my bottle and I'm going to shake it down. And in the back, right here, I'm going to just take little parts and I'm going to squeeze that into my parts. Now, obviously I can't see it, but I'm just going to separate it and try to get it in there the best I can. So that's how I do my hair. Just keep parting it. Make sure, you know, you could you could lift up your hair and then just get underneath it. You could just put this under there and smear it in. So it's only been a few minutes and it's already lightening. Do you see how the color's already lightening? I think that's pretty much it. As you can see, it didn't take me that long, maybe like 10, 12 minutes, something like that. And then I'm just gonna let this sit for about half an hour. Okay, so it's been exactly a half an hour since I put this stuff on my hair, and I think it's probably time to shampoo it out. So if you can see, that's how light it lifted my hair. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm very happy with that. I will go ahead 
You know, actually, if you look at some areas, they're a little dark on this side because that's the last side that I did. But overall, I think by the time I get in the shower, it'll be like five or 10 more minutes and this will be perfectly fine. So it only took, you know, 45 minutes to do my whole hair. So with the processing time and then I'll come back after I blow dry and get it all done and I'll show you what it looks like. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, leave me a comment. If you do your own hair, let me know what color you use and let me know a tip or a trick that you think that I didn't show today that I could even benefit from. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I hope you get out your hair dye and you just do your own hair, save yourself some money. Okay, I'll be back when it's all finished. Talk to you soon. I'm back. What do you think? See my roots? They're all done, all freshened up. I'm all good to go for another month. And I am just so happy. It was so easy. See? So there's all my parts all done. They look pretty darn good, I'd say. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know you can do it too. Go out there, have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye. Anyway, I hope you liked this video and I also have another video that I cut my sister's hair which was so long So that is pretty cool because I'm not a hairdresser, but I did cut her hair Let me cut off 22 inches